Hello, air signs. I'm Lorel, and welcome to Lorel's Moon in This Bitch. Join me as I read you your life, baby. Thank you to everyone who's liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. I appreciate each and every single one of you. Take a puff to you. So, if you'd like to get a personal read from me, make sure you hit that description box down below. And you can also check out my website, laurelsmoon.com, for any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. So, here we go. Weekend, Gemini. Libra and then Aquarius. Okay, let's see what's going down. We're about to save the cause for the golf. So, Spirit, you are welcome into this reading. Here we go, air signs. Gemini, we're going to start out with you first. You already know what's going down. Let's see what's going down with you overall and then your partner and what you don't see. Impossible outcomes, baby. Nine of Pentacle energy here, so I definitely feel like there's some sort of financial security and definitely some sort of decision to be made here with a financial secure uh, situation, okay? And you're focusing on what you want, and you're about to make it happen with this Two of Wands energy here. So there definitely could be a situation where some of you all are trying to secure that bag, all right? Secure that decision-making skill. Now you have the hangman energy, darling. So someone is definitely wanting to make a move here, all right? It could be that you are just feeling like you're desert eagle in this situation. You're kind of just, you know, alone by yourself. But I but I feel like there's definitely a situation that you're trying to work or there's definitely a situation you're trying to work itself out, okay? And I'm definitely seeing here with a page of cups, Gemini, some sort of message as well. Or you could be receiving a sort of message or a love message with that page. I feel like... I, could be someone younger that you're dealing with, or there could be something that you are waiting on for that news. It's definitely what I'm seeing here, okay? So for some of you all, there could be a situation where you're really just trying to, it looks like merge together a third party situation possibly, or also just leave some things behind, okay, to realize your goals here and definitely some toxicity or things that you need to release from because it could be holding you back. All right. So, Gemini, let's see what's going on between you and your partner. So, I feel like with this devil, it could be uh, something that you feel. It could be, you know, sexually. Uh, it could be financially, whatever the case may be, that something could be holding you back. Or there's definitely something that you need to change up with this devil energy here. You could be dealing with the Capricorn as well, Gemini. But I'm definitely seeing with this devil and this three of wands, it could be some toxicity, could be some things that you're needing to release, it could be a message with three parties. It could be uh, that there's just overall a lot of toxicity that you're needing to let go of, Gemini. I'm definitely seeing that that uh, devil it could be a lot of habits you need to break. So let's get ready. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I feel like for some of you all, there's definitely um, someone who's trying to uh, take some time to, um, it could be spine, Gemini, Page of Swords, Energy, mm -hmm. Temperance coming in reverse. For some of you, it could be causing some sort of imbalance because you are spying is what I'm seeing here for the weekend. Now, there definitely could be someone who's lying. You could be that person who's lying or being dishonest, but I'm definitely seeing here for some of you guys... Um, it looks to me like you and your partner are wanting some things to move forward here. But definitely be aware of that dishonesty with that devil. And I'm seeing the seven of swords. So you could be really needing to, you could be trying to steal some time for yourself or feeling like you have to um, defend yourself, especially with that page of swords. Could be that there's a situation where there's some information that you're giving out that you're not really uh, having an understanding to and you're needing more uh, in-depth information. Okay, so I'm definitely seeing here for some of you guys, it's going to be a lot of fast movement happening this weekend. Your partner's uh, definitely going to be manifesting here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. All right, somebody is working hard. Okay, they could have a lot of pent up things as well that they're, uh, it looks to me like they're working towards or they're really trying to have a lot of things, some awards or some accolades of some sort that they have that they are trying to work on. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm definitely what I'm seeing here. Trying to make some forward fucking movement. It looks like it could be in a relationship, but I'm also seeing here that there could be a lot of um, rebirthing or inner callings 
that you're needing to go through because it could be some insecurities is what I'm seeing here for some of you all. Okay, you could be dealing with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio so far, uh, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Energy, and also Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So to me, it looks like you could be uh, letting go of a situation that causes a lot of back and forth and in between. Could be some messages as well. Um, but I'm definitely seeing here for some of you guys, are, it's a situation you have a hard time cutting away from or being assertive. But I do feel like there is a major communication in the Eight of Spears and also the Six of Spears that you guys will be communicating with your partner. It could be uh, overall that you cut something off or something that you had a hard time cutting away from. But I do see here that you guys are definitely going to um, be communicating or in communication. Major communication is what I'm seeing here. Six of Spears energy. So definitely feeling like um, there there could be some sort of buildup that you guys have or you've dropped your guard down towards a third party situation. But you're still kind of just trying to push it forward is what I'm seeing here. And also, you know, materialistic things. Not only just material things, but more so of practicalities of doing daily um, things to make futuristic goals is what I'm seeing here. Just, you know, being practical about it. Um, but I'm definitely seeing here you're going to be shocked that the happiness is all the way there. You have the Nine of Cups energy for the weekend, my love. So I'm definitely feeling like you and your partner could be feeling a little happy, but there also could be some in-betweens of uh, dualities or multiple partnerships that you're having to make some sort of decision on. Two of Coins, Energy, and the Nine of Cups. You could be finalizing, making a decision here. You have the Nine of Cups and the Two of Coins, okay? So I'm feeling like with that, there's definitely a situation you're going to have to talk over, analyze, something that you could be restarting or there could be a situation where you're needing to restart. You could be dealing with a Scorpio as well with this Death Energy here. So um, I feel like with this decision, you know that there's some sort of restart that's coming into play. All right, so let's see um, what you don't see. What you don't see. Okay. So what you don't see, five of cups. Someone kind of has their back turned on the situation or they feel like things could be at a loss, could be due to making an action or needing to make some sort of action here with the Knight of Spears. So someone could be feeling like they're at a loss or they're needing to make an action before they have a loss. Okay. It definitely could be uh, something that was aware to you or something that you were aware of. There also could be a situation where you're trying to, looks to me like have a restart or you could be dealing with an Aquarius, possible Pisces as well with this moon energy here. But for some of you guys, I see that there are some illusions that you're blocking yourself uh, from seeing here. You're taking those blindfolds off. There could be a situation that you're kind of hanging around in or someone is hanging around. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. Also, Aquarius energy. You're just trying to, off to the side, put yourself in this renewal process, even though you're just kind of hanging around or waiting around. But I'm definitely seeing underneath the surface, there's going to be a lot of things you're going to become aware of, especially with this world energy. I'm feeling like it could be integration. It could be joining um, families together. Uh, you have the princess and also this world, uh, the... The priestess and the world energy. <laughs> so, Gemini, for some of you all, there definitely could be a situation where you're wanting to bring things together. You're going to be aware to the truth underneath the surface. And also with the six of coins, you feel like there's some sort of unequal give and take. And there's some sort of uh, message that needs to come about here or back and forth, uh, fast interaction. Uh, now, you do have the Knight of coins energy where there is this slow loyalty that's around. You know, it's coming um, it's definitely what I'm seeing here. You could be feeling like things are going a little bit slow and, and with time, but I'm definitely feeling like you're trying to analyze the situation so you don't have any too many crutches uh, that you might have to fall back on. OK, now with this Empress energy, I feel like there's some sort of new start towards a decision. OK, somebody has definitely got their hair blowing in the wind, baby, to a new start to make a decision. That's definitely what I'm seeing here. So let's see about possible um, accomplishments and then outcomes, Gemini. So it looks to me like your um, accomplishments, it looks to me like you're definitely taking things with stride. Uh, you could be feeling like you're not really in your power or you're not really uh, all the way balanced in your beliefs right now, uh, but you're definitely dropping your guard down. So this could be for some of you that it's been a hard time or a long road 
uh, feeling like you don't really have much control, but you're definitely in it to win it, okay? You have the Magician Energy and also the Queen of Swords. So I feel like there definitely could have been a situation where you were just relaxing to have the facts, all right? Relaxing to see the tricks is definitely what I'm seeing here. Could be dealing with a uh, <clears throat> possible Aries as well, but I'm, I'm really seeing for some of you guys that I'm proud of you for not, you know, being too uh, swift on needing those factual uh, cues, okay? <laughs> so for some of you guys, it could have been that there was some sort of communication or there was definitely someone who was uh, making those power moves that you were um, trying to communicate is what I'm seeing here. You could have just took a step back, but you're also, um, it looks to me like, wanting to communicate about some sort of idea or a thought i'm seeing some sort of action here happen gemini so i feel like it could be a move or a new um a new venture is definitely what i'm seeing here gemini so let's see about some possible outcomes my loves for the weekend let's see about some possible outcomes i really feel like it's some sort of endeavors that you guys are dealing with um that you're definitely wanting the truth to come out about it. You don't want no bullshit is what I'm seeing there. So it'll come to you, babe. Okay, so here we go. Possible outcomes, Gemini. I feel like, ooh, six of pentacle energy here, eight of wands. Definitely going to be a lot of communication. Okay, I'm feeling like with this queen of swords, this is you. All right, could have been something that you were trying to put off. But what I'm seeing here, for some of you all with your person, you're trying to build a situation here. It could be through family, could be through legacy, but someone is definitely trying to build here. You could be dealing with someone who's older or wiser, Gemini. But I'm definitely feeling like for some of you guys, there's a situation, possible outcomes. You're going to be feeling like things are being beneficial. There could be an opportunity that comes to you with the full energy and also the temperance. But I feel like it's a lot of balance popping off. Okay. All right, Gemini, I feel like you guys could be dealing with some financial situations, too. It's looking damn good. You got the bottom of the deck, the lover's energy, and also the three of cups. So it could be some family situation. It could also be that there is a uh, nostalgic memory. You could be dealing with kids as well, but I'm definitely feeling like it's a lot of happy times for you, Gemini. And you're really feeling in your element. So definitely be aware of uh, that argumentative energy. But I do feel like it's going with the swift of the wind, baby. Okay, so let's see what's going down, Libra. Here we go. Let's see what's going down, Libra. Darling. All right, so here we have the judgment energy, okay? So I look back with compassion for myself. So somebody could have the trumpets of Gabriel coming out to... <laughs> Coming out to play, all right? Um, there could be just a calling. There could be, you know, this really big red flag that's ahead of you that you're really starting to see things on the horizon is what I'm seeing here, Libra. I'm definitely seeing that there could be a situation where you're hanging around in it in suspense. Uh, but there's also another way that you're trying to figure this situation out. That's what I'm seeing here. For some of you all, you could be dealing with wood or something like that or carving things or crafting things is what I'm definitely seeing here. So for some of you all, for the weekend, you could be dealing with wood or crafting some things here, right? Could be with the elements. But for some of you all, I'm definitely seeing that you could be uh, wanting a blissful time with yourself once these truths are revealed to you, okay, after this judgment energy pops off. For some of you, I'm definitely feeling like you're ready to seek uh, new learning abilities and new learning ideas, okay, with this Hierophant energy. And also, it could be your belief system or some sort of tradition that's set up that you're um, really having to analyze, all right? And it could be that you need to feel happy with what the universe is bringing to you because you got the Emperor energy here. You could be dealing with that Aries as well. And it's saying that you're making empowered choices straight like that, Libra. So let's see what's going on between you and your partner. You and your partner. Okay. I'm going to use the will of the year. All right, here we go. Libra off top, chariot energy. 
princess of pentacles so basically the page of pentacles i'm really seeing here you're wanting some fast movement to happen it could be that you're somebody's writing a letter or somebody could be writing to someone uh about their emotions is definitely what i'm seeing here it could be that um there's definitely a situation where you're needing to someone is needing to grasp their emotions and taking care of their coin and trying to heal at the same time okay libra but i'm definitely feeling like for some of you guys there could be a third party situation you have the chariot energy and the page of princesses is what i'm seeing here so some of y'all definitely could be dealing with making some forward movement towards a third party or someone could be messaging you about a third party situation but i'm definitely seeing here for your partner that they're, they're trying to heal and use all of their poker faced emotions away from this is what i'm seeing here and there definitely could be a situation where it's like you're really just trying to achieve your overall major goals is what i'm seeing here libra could be movement as well all right so for some of you all there is definitely some sort of struggle or some sort of uh mishap or struggle that y'all feel you might need to um have a balance towards could be with children of some sort or someone could have some children um that they're definitely trying to make some continued happiness with is what i'm seeing here for the weekend libra all right, you have the Six of Pentacles, also the Ten of Cups. So for some of you guys, there could have been an ending to a situation that called, because uh, I see a lot of tens here. So there could have been an ending and a beginning, okay? But I'm definitely feeling like there was someone who's healing away from a, a past situation that caused a lot of betrayal and strife. A lot of third-party situations here, Libra. And I am seeing here for some of you guys, uh, it's going to get you to the next level. You have the Hierophant Energy and also the Ten of Cups. So to me, it looks like someone could be wanting to beg some sort of forgiveness, all right, with that hair of fine energy and also the Ten of Cups to make the family right is definitely what I'm seeing here, okay? So let's see what you don't see, baby. All right, it looks to me <clears throat> like for some of you all, I see that your partner is definitely struggling with some sort of anxiety. It could be with a third party situation that they were struggling with, but somebody was pushed away underneath the surface. Okay. Could have been a lot of messages, could be due to a third party situation, could be due to a lot of sharp energy that they received. Okay. Now you have the king of chalices energy. So I feel like this person or you is definitely trying to gather your emotions. You could have left away. All right. Somebody definitely was trying to leave away with all the anxiety, anxiety that they were having to you know, find some happiness is what I'm seeing here underneath the surface. So for some of you guys, I'm definitely feeling like you're just not really feeling it. Okay. For some of you guys, it's like, you just don't even want to build on the situation. Like you ain't even trying to make no moves towards it no more at this point. Like somebody just is not, if they're not happy within their own element and they're not trying to mess with nobody else. Okay. So, I feel like what you don't see is somebody's going to be leaving this third party situation behind and be working continuously. For some of you all, you could be, they're just not really feeling this, okay? Somebody's definitely like trying to leave away, all right? They're trying to throw some shit in a bag, get in the car and go, honey, and work towards their goals is what I'm seeing here underneath the surface. For some of you guys, there could be a situation where there's a new start, but you're just feeling like you're going to miss out on something all right or there could be some sort of reaction that you have that you're not really feeling but i do see here with this new start or this new beginning underneath the surface there's definitely going to be a lot of intellectual thoughts and ideas coming to you you might at one point in time feel all sad and sorrowy and shit but then you're definitely coming out of um you know feeling alone and starting to feel uh together in your mind is what i'm seeing here okay so, for some of you all, I'm definitely seeing that there's a lot of clarity coming to you. Could be some new inspiration, some movement happening towards you, Libra. Definitely get ready for that because I feel like somebody is going into straight meditation mode and not giving a motherfuck. Okay. Could be coming aware because you are going into this meditation mode with the hair of fun energy. All right. So, let's see about your accomplishments and then your possible outcomes, Libra, because... 
It's looking to me like the third party situations is really throwing somebody off, but you're going to start balancing yourself in some tranquil energy. All right. Cutting it off, cutting it the fuck off. So in your accomplishments, you could have been very assertive and shocked like the King of Swords is with his research and his sword in his hand. For some of you all, it looks to me like your accomplishments are that you made a final decision, even though you had a hard time making this decision. And it was definitely some sort of toxic energy or there was uh, a lot of things that you guys accomplished with each other um, that you felt was a lot of uh, vineages and things entangled together. For some of you, all oh, there could be a situation where there's someone who has some regret, regrets, but they're also at the same time um, really trying to make a decision. But so to me, it looks like there could have been some sort of spying or someone was going through some, um, they felt like it was a really toxic, heated energy that they had to look to find, find out what was going on. And I feel like in your accomplishments, you just made a final decision, right? It could have been that. Uh, you didn't want to take the arguing no more. You don't want to argue about it no more. You don't want to take that loss no more. You got the five of wands coming in reverse, right? So this is the second time you got this card. So I feel like you just trying not to fight. You're putting up that resistance is definitely what I'm seeing here. And that's what you accomplished is that you didn't fail or give in to the bullshit. All right. <laughs> so... So let's see about possible outcomes. I feel like Two of Cups energy and the Ace of Pentacles, Libra darlings. Talk to me. I feel like for some of you guys, there could be a situation where somebody wants to make a connection back. It could be that there's some money or some sort that this person is definitely wanting to restart uh, or, you know, bring about some new opportunities. Okay. It could be Offers of love could be taking you out on the night. I don't know. But I feel like there's definitely some sort of abundance here with you and your lover. Okay. Or you just loving yourself. Whatever the case may be, you are definitely, definitely going to feel accomplished. You have the six of wands energy here, Libra. So get ready, baby. Also, the eight of uh, wands is here. There's definitely some sort of messages or communication that you'll be receiving, okay, this weekend. So try not to stay too stuck in the past because the accomplishments and the goals are being set. Okay. So Aquarius, darlings, let's see what's going on, babies, for the weekends. Oh, we got the Six of Cups energy. I remember and treasure past happiness. All right. So for some of you all, there definitely could be a situation where you could be dealing with a Gemini, possibly with the lepers energy. But I'm definitely feeling like you could be feeling shut out or someone is not really trying to um, reach out. You have the page of wands energy here. I am always open to good news. All right. So here we go. One more. Ten of wands energy. So it looks to me like you're definitely tapped out and tired. Uh, and it says you need to release yourself from self-inflicted binds, okay? Because someone is definitely letting it linger. So try to release that shit, okay? The best way you can, whether it's music, chakra healing, whatever the case may be, but just release it. There could be uh, just someone in your overall energy. You're just trying to get it out because they could be feeling like a buzzer, okay? And sticking to the coin, you got the queen of pentacle energy here. So, yes. Definitely uh, making some moves or gearing some moves towards a new um, a new set or a new idea set of goals. You have the King of Wands energy here as well, Aquarius. So some of you all are definitely um, wanting to start something new. It could be financially there's something that you're needing to start new. But we're going to see what's going on between you and your partner. You could be dealing with a uh, Leo Sagittarius Aries energy. Also a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. But a lot of Leo Sagittarius Aries energy here with this King of Wands. You could have been dealing with a player. You could be dealing with someone who is just all about that uh, new start of passions. <laughs> so... For some of you all, there could be a situation overall. You could be wanting to just balance. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Okay, but I am seeing with this 
queen of coins once again there's definitely a situation that you are trying to hold on to or you are just more so worried about your coin in the balance it's all i see here aquarius okay star energy that your person is definitely concentrating on you and making some sort of final decision on their end to sword energy here so between you and your partner there definitely could be a situation where um, somebody wants to start something new, but it could be just a belief system that's kind of set up a little differently. But some of you all could be dealing with that trickster energy or feeling like this person is going to be tricking you into some new uh, bullshit. All right. But I'm seeing here for some of you all, your partners uh, wanting to make final decisions and make some power moves too. Okay. Could be in two different, you know, two different scenarios with that magician energy. Yeah, he got some tricks up his sleeve, a shot. So, I feel like between you and your partner, there's definitely a situation where you're wanting to balance. You have the two of coins. could be that duality that you're trying to balance. But I'm really seeing here that someone is afraid to make a new step or take a next step in the right direction. But I do see for some of you Aquarius, it could be the overall balance. But that's in the coins, baby. Somebody is hitting that team. Okay, and ready to win. <laughs> so... I feel like for some of you all this weekend, you're definitely wanting to uh, maintain that balance at home, balance at home front, okay? There definitely could be a situation overall that you're um, really just trying to, um, it looks to me like you're waiting to make this, this person is waiting to make a decision here, okay? Or somebody is definitely feeling shut out or left out in the cold, but they're waiting on a decision, especially due to some sort of injustice energy here. So let's see what you don't see, Aquarius. I feel like what you don't see, it could be a possible third uh, party situation or some sort of information or a new situation that you're dealing with, that you're becoming highly aware to, that you're trying to be a little bit more passive about and kind of like, you know, shutting yourself down or shutting yourself off to it with the eight of swords energy. But I'm really feeling like underneath the surface, it could be that your partner Someone is not wanting to build here overall, okay? It could be some immaturity overall and love, but I'm definitely feeling like some of you all, you're definitely feeling like this person uses you as a crutch. Now, with the three of coins, energy here coming in reverse, there could be a situation where someone is canceling out a third-party situation or someone is trying to let go of a situation that they're not really wanting to nurture, okay? Especially with that, um, that queen of cups. could be that someone has gained a lot of senses here. All right, so two more. Oh, the world and the sun. Some of you guys are definitely coming into completion. Okay, you could be accomplishing some things here, but you could be gaining clarity first before you come into completion is what I'm seeing here for some of you all. There could be a situation where you could be dealing with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, but someone could been could have been going back and forth, or there could have been some spying energy that you guys were dealing with. They could have been spying on your social media page. All right, and I do feel like for some of you guys, you're definitely trying to get over this bullshit. Is what I'm seeing here. So definitely be aware of all of the uh, flying monkeys that they bring to your page, or whatever the case may be. But for some of you guys, there could be a situation where somebody is, you know, watching you. Um, going back and forth with watching you, going back and forth with watching other people is what I'm seeing here, Aquarius. Um, there also could be a situation um, underneath the surface that there's some movement happening. You could be dealing with that Kansadian with the chariot energy. Okay. So let's see about your accomplishments. Your accomplishments, Aquarius. All right. So, ooh, six of coins and the strength energy. So somebody could have been having a lot of strength towards somebody waiting on this handout. Okay, I see a lot of hands here. I really do. So she could be squeezing the strength into her the strength into it. Okay, Aquarius. But I do feel like you accomplished those money goals to get that strength is what I'm seeing here for the weekend. For some of you all, there's definitely um, going to be a situation where you don't even feel like it's a loss anymore. You're like, fuck it. Let the wheels keep on turning. Proud Mary, keep on burning, honey. Okay, that's your accomplishments. And also that someone could be guarded and you just had the strength enough to just, you know, let it go. But I do see here for some of you all, there could have been a situation where you weren't necessarily happy towards. But I do see you're going to be happy. Okay, or that there was accomplishment to be happy, Aquarius. So let's see about possible um, 
outcomes because it looks like y'all got a good thing going on. Somebody got straight up controls. What I'm seeing here, Aquarius, right? Because happiness is on the horizon. Now, page of source energy once again, spine, spine, spine. Could be on your social media page. Could be someone that you dated your ex previously, things of that nature. But I really do feel like for some of you guys, this person just can't leave the shit alone. Okay? They just can't let it go. Could be someone from your past. What I'm definitely seeing here for the weekend, some of you guys are dealing with a Pisces as well. Could be Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But to me, it looks like you're just mending to your own garden. Okay? You have the Nine of Pentacles energy here. So, for some of you all, there could be some sort of message of something, a love message maybe. But it looks to me like somebody is trying not to be too mysterious. But at the same time, it's always a mystery, all right? There could be a situation overall that you guys are really just wanting to start to see if you're going to build or not, all right? could be some toxic energy that you're trying to let go of. That someone could have held in for a long time with the Five of Swords energy and the Tower. But you're letting go with this devil energy, which looks damn good. Y'all been having the devil for quite some time in your overall energy. And now it's reversed. So that's damn good, Aquarius. But I do feel like for some of you all for the weekend, um, there's definitely some sort of new start that's going to happen with this Empress energy. It might be a little iffy, but I do, I do feel like it could be due to anxiety. But I do feel like there's definitely a situation. You're going to be communicating some major things with the Ace of Swords, or you could be getting bright ideas with this new start, new opportunity, Aquarius. Is definitely what I'm seeing here. Somebody being in that natural element. Okay. So, one more. Herophant energy, darling. So, somebody's going into a higher calling here, too. Could be some belief systems that you're starting to set up, all right? Or somebody is definitely needing to um, get those bright ideas set up. Okay, Aquarius. Now, I do feel like there could be some energy where you're just maintaining balance. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius with the temperance energy. So, you know, it looks to me like it's major balance, but at the same time, you're going through uh, reconstruct is what I'm seeing here from the devil. So uh, be aware of that spying energy. I don't know who that is, but y'all y'all have gotten the most uh, page of swords I have seen in quite some time, Aquarius. OK, so somebody could be on that detective, uh, that detective Pikachu or that uh, detective inspector gadget or something is what it looked like. But let me get on a battle hurry, y'all. We got the uh, star energy at the bottom of the deck. So this is definitely you, Aquarius, my loves. Okay? And if you'd like to get a personal read from me, make sure you hit that description box down below. And check out my website, therealthmoon.com, for any other magical purposes and deviation tricks and things of that nature, my loves. So see you in the next video. Peace.